So, got something for you to do tonight. Look to the skies because mm -hmm. apparently you can see some out of this world excitement. Yeah, the Perseid meteor shower. You might be able to see it tonight. <clears throat> and on average, it can produce 50 to 100 shooting stars per hour. This happens each year. Yeah. Um, they think it, they call it the best mm -hmm. because it happens in the warm summer months and you get a lot of meteors, but uh, you saying our weather's maybe not like perfect for it. We may have some clouds out there. <laughs> okay. That's okay. the only thing we're kind of facing. I think we'll probably hold off with the rainfall at least through that time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, clouds are kind of streaming in. So some of us may have luck out and see it, uh, mm -hmm. especially the farther maybe north and east you live. Okay. But um, have either of you seen it in the past? I have, yeah. You I have? mean, just, yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't like stay out for hours, but definitely made a point mm -hmm. to go out and see it. It's neat. I mean, it's always cool to right. see, you yeah. know? I mean, the, I mean yeah. they're always just facing Mother Nature. The bright moon. Or, that's the other thing. Yeah, the bright, we have a full moon, mm -hmm. too. Oh, the city, well, you know, being in the city, you want to be outside the city, that yeah. sort of thing. Um, you know, find somewhere quiet. But yeah, if Mother Nature cooperates. Yeah. Should be a good show. Quick question for you, though, because actually tomorrow night is the, the peak night, but I, I was reading something that Mike Augustinek said that Tomorrow night we might have even more clouds, so maybe tonight might be your better bet. Yeah, well, yeah. Is I mean, the thing know? is, the rain to, the rain is going to be coming in tomorrow morning. The models kind of look like they break apart a little bit by tomorrow night, but I don't think it's gonna, like as of now we're still going to have some clouds around. But the good news is, I mean, if we get some breaks in it, you'll have at least be able to see something. Because it starts at what nine o'clock, something like that. That's the peak it's time like to be able to see time. it tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and okay. you know, like I mentioned, you want to go outside the city lights and try to be yeah. in the country, mm -hmm. that sort of thing, where it's dark, you know, no, yeah. no street lights, that sort of thing, of course. Yeah. Interesting, the meteor shower gets its name from the constellation it radiates from. <clears throat> the constellation is not the source of the meteors. Right. I did not so know that. Perseus. Perseus. Mm -hmm. Go look for Perseus. Perseus, we coming to look for you. Yep, and that's that's the where the, the best way <laughs> where you can look for it because I, there's a, so much stuff. I mean, Riley, you probably know a lot of this. But well, no, the, I had to Google some oh, of this. Did you Google so, some of this well, too? I Perseus, mean, I, of course. These I mean, little, I'm not an yeah. expert in everything. Because this is <laughs> yes, you are. Um, these are little pieces of comet debris, and then they heat up as they yeah. enter the atmosphere, and then they burn up, and there's the the bright mm -hmm, light. Right. Uh, that you get, but mm -hmm. they're moving fast. Oh yeah, they're moving really fast. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, if you see a shooting star, it's like, you know how fast it goes. I mean, by the time you focus on it, you know, it's gone. You're like, oh man, I missed it. But the good news about this is you get so many per hour, 50 to, 50 to 100, you know, possibly. Right. So you have more time or at least better chances to mm -hmm. see it if you haven't yet. So well, like, like you right. said too, you, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss a thing. Yeah. And the good thing yeah. is, is it's the summertime. <laughs> don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> Riley got two. Every second, he, he <laughs> got it. I'm surprised you didn't sing it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Wait for this. He's always busting out got, too. Yeah, you got to pick and choose your moments. This was not. This was. I don't know. Too. I thought. Well, yeah. This, Do you want to close your eyes? Close. No, you don't. <laughs> but the good thing is, it always happens. You know, late July to you know in you August next somewhere year. in there. Yeah. But it, it happens in the summer, so you can do a family thing. Kids okay. can stay up and watch. Yeah. That's nice. So there are. Those are the clouds we're talking about. Is yeah. this what we're gonna get tonight? Well, we're going to have some, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The good news is is that they're trying to break break up north. If you, Interstate 94 is kind of the, the cutoff with the cloud cover right really? now. Yeah. Okay. So here's a few tips for the mirrors. Get as far away from the city. We were talking about that. Give your eyes at least about 15 minutes to adjust. And then the darkest skies will be between about 9 p.m. to uh, 9.30. So look low on the horizon, and you'll start to hopefully see some tonight. Hopefully the clouds will cooperate, right? Now